All right, welcome back to another new video. In this video, you might have clicked the thumbnail because it's pretty exciting. Hopefully, it's as exciting as we think. So we're going to be testing E85, 91, and 98 fuels to see which is the most explosive. Now, how do you test that? Hopefully safely. I, I have a reminder here not to die. We have a method which involves some drums. So hopefully, you guys can see this. So we've got 12 litre drum right here, high speed board, and a zip line across our workshop. So this hopefully should show us just how far a set amount of fuel is going to give us. We've done some pre-testing, so hopefully we don't die, but get some big explosions in this video. Okay, and here's how we're going to be testing our fuels today. So we have a 12 litre drum, a small little spray bottle. So we've actually pre-drilled the ends out of these. So you just spray them in there with a calculated amount. We've done some pre-testing. So it's about 20 sprays, which sounds like way too many, but it seems to be what works. And just for safety, we've got a lighter on a, on a really long stick. So that sounds stupid, but we tried barbecue lighters and a couple other things and nothing was repeatable. So this seems to be the most accurate method of ignition is a lighter on a seven foot pole, but hopefully it keeps us safe. So let's test 91 first, we'll get that out of the way. I know which fuel I think is gonna be the most explosive. What do you guys think at home? All right, so we're going to do a comparison test now. So what we're going to try and do is five sprays in the bottle with each of the fuels, and then we'll go to 10 and 15, just to test different air fuel ratios. So we've already done some pre-testing we think we know what's gonna be most efficient, but this is a video and who actually knows what's gonna happen. So let's start out with five sprays. So one, two, three, four, five. We'll slide it back to our ignition point, grab the lighter, sit the explosive fuel out of the way, light our lighter, try and stay as far away from the fuel as we can. And three, two, one. <laughs> so, I just, I just want to say that didn't happen in testing. So you can see the tape marks on the floor with our testing. That's as far as we ever got. It never did that. So, this is a little bit more explosive than we thought. Hopefully the high speed board, I'll be able to slow some shots down for you guys so we can actually see how fast that was because that was church. <laughs> Well, I think that five sprays testing was pretty successful. Successful enough that uh, as soon as we go to any more, it just murders the, the drum. So we're only gonna stick to five sprays. I'll be able to overlay all the different types of fuel here. So simultaneously, we can shoot them all off, see the differences in speed. But to do any more sprays, just isn't gonna work today. So we're just gonna be sticking to five. So now it's time we spray some 98 and see if we get some more energetic results than that even if I'm not entirely sure I want to be anywhere near it. Okay, so this is five sprays, 98, new bottle, new nozzle. Could be a bomb. In three, two, one. Jesus! Fuck! Holy dooly. Ah, uh, that was scary. We broke our lighter, um, the bottle flew off the stand by the looks of it, and uh, that was dangerous, that's bad. Holy shit. All right, so we've seen that the 98 is a little bit more energetic, and energetic enough that it actually blew the cap off so now we've gone and made the nozzle a little bit bigger. It will affect our testing a little bit, but this is what the 98 needs to be, make it more energetic and hopefully not a bomb like the last one kind of was. So we're still going to be doing five sprays, 98. We've just enlarged the nozzle a little bit. So now we'll do the test again. We'll get our set shots and then we'll move on to our E85. All right, five sprays, 98, larger nozzle. So we're going to see how this goes. Hopefully now it's not a bomb. Fingers crossed. So grab our liner. Don't need emails. Oh dear. All right. 
98, five sprays in three, two, one. So I'd say that was just as effective as the 91 with the bigger nozzle. It seems to like combust faster, um, which sounds a little bit silly, but I guess, yeah, bigger nozzle, um, it acts or behaves the same way as 91. That's cool. All right, now it's time for our last fuel. So the 98 was actually pretty energetic. I personally think it's going to be the most energetic. What do you guys think? But we'll give E85 a test and you guys will be able to see here very shortly. We'll run them all back to back and see which one is the most powerful. But I think this would require more fuel per drum. So how this works, it needs 30% more fuel to be as energetic as petrol. So I think if we do the same amount, it's going to be less powerful. But we're going to test that right now. We're going to put five sprays in the drum and a lighter and we'll see what happens. Five sprays, hearing protection. All right, E85, five sprays in three, two, one. Not as energetic. Well, at least I don't think so. Didn't work quite as good as the 98. So maybe Pez knows a thing or two about fuel. But I doubt it. it smells nice in here though. It smells like cookies. to conclude all of our testing today so one last thing i think we should try 12 sprays of e85 in this drum just to finalize this video out and leave you guys with well probably a large bang so thanks heaps for watching tell your mum to subscribe i know she's been watching we'll catch you on a future episode where hopefully one of the channel cars actually works so we can go driving rather than being the university of pez here in the shop but we got this video done just for you guys, just to hopefully keep some content out there going and stay relevant. So thanks heaps for watching and we'll see you in a future episode where we're not doing this, hopefully. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. It's a lot of fuel. What's gonna happen, guys? I don't know. I'm scared. I am scared. I like how it's all one continuous shot too. What other channels are doing this? This kind of outro, it's incredible. <laughs> oh, see you in the next video, guys.